Hey guys, it's Ace here, Designs, and I'm just going to do a quick uh, Photoshop tutorial and tell you how to get a background like this. Um, it's really, really simple. Um, you know, a lot of people tend to have a bit of a, a negative thing when it comes to Photoshop and, you know, how to get the color into the text and stuff like that. A lot of people, you know, um, find it a bit annoying. So I'm just going to create a new one here quickly. We're going to do it by 1920 by 1080 at uh, 300 revolution, that's the highest. Um, we're having a transparent uh, template, you can put a color, it doesn't matter. You ain't going to see it anyway. Um, so yeah, so obviously what you want to do is you want to have your background. So wherever your background may be is dependent um, on you. I am using this as my background. Um, you can search me to Google and stuff like that. I just typed in uh, concrete scratch um, and dirt uh, and stuff like that and it came in with that. Um, so yes, yeah, so you want to put this in and make sure that it's like you know, over the edges a little bit so that way you know uh, it fits into the picture. Um, then I am going to use this which is a uh, lighting page um, you don't have to use this I'm just using it because I prefer this um, and I'm gonna turn this down and change this to make this a little bit brighter um, then you want to add your text now for this I'm using I'm gonna use a different text to what I did in my last one um, so I'm just going to put Ace Designs and then I'm going to make it bigger uh, let's go too big, let's go for 48 and then we'll go to that ok so now you got this right. press Control T to make it bigger if you haven't already got it on your page big enough um, you can make it a little bit bigger. I'm just going to fatten this up by uh, doing this. There is other ways you can make it bigger, but I am a bit old fashioned and prefer doing something like this. So you've got it in here. Okay, next step uh, is to bring in the picture you want to colour it with. Um, for this, I am going to be using something like this. Um, I'm just going to extend it so I get more colour across the picture um, so it's something like that and with this selected you want to press control and then click the T which will highlight your text you want to then go to select and inverse um, I normally click the rubber tool because it's the easiest because then you can click that click yes then you want to click delete and then come back up to here and click deselect and click your movement tool so then you'll have this um, and you'll have two layers and basically with the bottom layer that's your text you can add you know outer glow drop shadow etc etc um, and then you know if you want to add in other stuff around for instance um, something like this uh, which is in my other one I didn't mean to click that. Um, yeah, you, know, you can uh, do something like this, and then um, put it so it's a bit coloured, and then you want to drop the opacity down just so it's not overly in your face, because you want the text to be the bold, uh, the key feature of this, not the other way around. Um, and then I'm going to color overlay it and we're going to go for a orangey colored one and then we're going to go to hue or color depending on um, uh, I'll just do it this way uh, hue yeah hue with that um, now I've colored this I'm just going to bring this a little bit up uh, maybe change this to uh, something a little bit different um, 
So I've got a bit more colour in it. Um, oh, that looks good. Lightning colour. Um, I'm just going to drop this back down again. To about, I'd say, 71 cent. That's good. Um, and then obviously, you know, you can add your own stuff in, but that is the main thing. Um, you know, getting that text coloured. Uh, you can add any different colours. You can actually add multiple colours, uh, different stuff. For instance, if I get this, um, I know this isn't really going to fit in, but hey, um, it works. So again, you press Control with the uh, background selected and then click the T. It'll highlight that. You want to click Select, Inverse, um, click, you know, for instance, the rubber tool because then that way you can do that and then click delete um, and then click deselect and there you go and then obviously what you can do is you can blend it in so you can have you know for instance it like that or you know different ways around for instance that looks pretty cool um, it's your preference uh, do it how you like. I had mine just like this because you know I thought it looked cool especially with the, the way the text is um, if you want to know how to get good text, uh, I'll just bring up the page. Um, you can go to this website, it's called 101 Fonts. Uh, you can just basically search through all their stuff, uh, just click the download. Um, it will download in a zip folder. Um, you'll have to have Zip or WinRAR. Um, I just have a folder in Downloads that says Fonts. You basically open this up, and it keeps going on the screen. Click this, and then click Install. Um, that's it. Pretty simple. And then you just basically, whenever you've got the text, um, you get text here. Are you going to work? No. Okay, I'll go back to this one. Uh, oh, I didn't have the text. Okay. Uh, and then you basically can come here and you'll have all your new ones selected. Hope this helped you guys. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, it helps me know that you like the video. Um, you know, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. If you have any tips that I didn't put on here, please put in the comments to help other people out. Um, I know a lot of people on YouTube. Uh, are grateful for that and if you're a troll then you know put something funny so I can laugh at you <laughs> okay guys this is Ace Designs aka Muggins aka Andrew Craigie thanks for watching have a nice day